Hey you guys, what's up? Z Bass here. Hope you, you like that intro I did. Uh, had the Predator theme, and <laughs> and it works real well for this gameplay because I'm using Delta the thermoscope with the ACR or the ACR with the thermoscope and suppressor. And I think that the Predator uh, theme works real well for this gameplay. And I'm thinking to put another series called Pred Mode. Um, because that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going into Pred Mode using a thermoscope. And I'm catching guys left and right with it. Uh, but anyways, how's you guys weekend? Your Easter weekend. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Uh, mine, of course, is pretty good, you know. I didn't do too much. I mostly was working on this uh, video specifically. And, uh, you know, my niece and nephew, they came by to visit, which is real nice. They showed me their toys and their candy that they got for Easter. And they had a little Easter hunt at our place, so that's real nice. You know, I love my niece and nephew. They're, 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 they're cute as hell, but some, some days <laughs> you will just want to kill them, I swear. <laughs> But anyways, I do love my niece and nephew. They're the greatest. I love them very much. But anyways, let's talk about this gameplay, I guess. You know, as you guys know me, I like to uh, go far out to make sure the enemies is not hiding anywhere. Of course, I don't always check my corners because there's too many damn corners to check around. And I do have a good instinct on where the enemy is, so that's it. And it's just... In ah, excuse me. As you just saw, I just slowly came in because, you know, knowing up the steps here uh, to my right, uh, normally there'll be uh, a sniper camping on top of the steps, but luckily they're not there. So we basically take control of this area pretty good, having, especially me because I'm taking a long distance. Uh, a little bit of tip on using the thermoscope, guys. Uh, when you're using a thermoscope, you don't always want to look for the bright, uh, the bright white um, looking down the say of the thermoscope. Uh, you want to look for inconsistencies uh, because you never know when you're gonna run into somebody with uh, the assassin perks. So it's a good idea to keep in mind that in a dark area of a building or something. There might be somebody we, somebody wearing ghost perk, and sometimes you won't you won't notice the enemy um, in there. But if you know how to look for inconsistencies in the map using a thermoscope, you could pick off almost anybody. Uh, uh, damn! Somebody just just called my name, and I just screwed up on my thought. Uh, but yeah, you look for inconsistencies because. Once you get that, you you like almost unstoppable, you know, uh, because there is inconsistencies in dark areas as long as you know the map and the layout, the layout of them. Sometimes I don't even need a thermoscope. I just look at a at a building and it's dark inside a building and it's dark and. I see a small movement or inconsistency to the wall, and there it is, the enemy. Uh, so yeah, I had pretty good long distance uh, with using the thermo, as it should be. And over here, these guys, for some reason, uh, just kept on coming through the doorway. And it, and as you saw in the intro, they finally figured out to use a. Uh, uh, Flash grenade. I I should have had like a double kill or something, but you know what you're gonna do. Uh, luckily, these guys were not wearing their uh, assassin perks uh, because they uh, they probably one or two of them would have got through my uh, my uh, portable radar. I mean, if you guys haven't know yet, uh, the weakness to the portable radar is the assassin perk. So. That that that's gonna help out uh, motor around. So if you're wearing signs and perk, you're good to go. If somebody's using the uh, the portable radar, 
over here I got a little bit too overconfident and I thought I had enough bullets but apparently I ran out of bullets and that guy got me I'm pretty sure if I had a, a full clip I would have got that guy easily and I would have had my Moab this game uh, but yeah now these guys got their heli up so I'm gonna stay in this building over here now for um, using assault rifles long distance as this uh, it doesn't matter if you're using a thermoscope or a red dot or ACOG or whatever. Uh, the best way to shoot at somebody from long distance is pop shotting them. Now sometimes it doesn't always always work uh, because of the fact that um, the enemies have a chance to duck down if they're smart enough. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to uh, spray your bullets from long distance like this person does and look what happens to him. Uh, yep, that's what happened. The other guy was smart. This guy here, he knew that if he he was gonna get messed up if he stayed there. So I did try a few times. Now you don't want to do like my teammate here is stay that close to the window and pay attention to that heli if it's still up, because as you're gonna see real soon, what happens to him. Now I try again with this guy. And there you go, there you see my teammate right there, got knocked out by the heli. You don't want to stay near a window too close when a heli's up. And as you can see, I moved because I had a feeling that the enemy was coming coming in from behind. And as you know, I don't have a headset to play play this game, so I won't be hear, hearing any footsteps or anything. So I'm basically doing this by instinct so I got pretty good instincts I th I say uh, because you know, I guess it's from playing the uh, playing Call of Duty for a good while and I know what I gotta do you know and I if I feel like the enemy is not moving us from my direction then they gotta be fl trying to outflank me or something so yeah um, if you play this game long enough you will develop a instincts and you don't really need a headset and over here I thought this guy saw me and was gonna stab me but I got lucky and hit fire him so <laughs> yeah and right there there's always gotta be a, a sniper guy on that thing for some reason uh, I think that's probably one of the worst spots to be in but apparently people are still going up there for some weird reason without any real cover to help them. I mean, the only way to could get somebody if the enemy is their enemy is not paying attention. That's about it. But other than that, that's not a really good spot to use a sniper rifle, even though it is made for for sniping. Of course, I come back in here, getting in, into my spot, <laughs> and since it did so well for me before. Uh. Yep. You know what? I, 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 with that, uh, what is it called? The MS, IMS? Yeah, it's so rare for me to get killed by them nowadays. You know, I do get killed by them. But as soon as I see it, I know when to stop. And it's funny to see teammates or enemies run into them because they just don't stop. I, mean, I think that's really one of the drawbacks to being a rusher. Is you know you rush so much you end up getting yourself killed that way. But anyways, we come close to the end to the match. Uh, guys, leave a comment about that intro I, I did for this video, and um, comment about this video. Good work. And uh, if you're new to this um, channel and you like my work, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, and peace out, guys.